Hi guys, so today we are going to discuss about the current and future high demand IT roles. Okay, so as you know that uh, at Networkings we help people to become a network engineer, cloud engineer, cyber security engineer, and DevOps engineer. But some of the job roles are combined, and uh, so I just uh, try to make a short video so that you do not uh, uh, watch a very lengthy video about uh, the future high demand IT roles okay because in the last few live sessions I have already discussed about the future demand roles so the first job role so what is going to be popular that's called cloud network engineer instead of like preparing for network engineer you should learn cloud network engineer role so it means with your CCNA, CCNP firewall knowledge, you should learn any cloud, uh, not just the basic part, but more of like their security part also. Like if I, uh, if you ask me, like I recommend you AWS Solution Architect Associate and AWS uh, Security. And if you get time, you can also prepare for AWS Networking. So these are the three modules of AWS along with CCNA, CCNP firewall. And then you can apply for cloud networking roles. Then the second we have network automation engineer. So along with your CCNA, CCNP, SD-WAN knowledge, uh, you should prepare for CCNA and CCNP DevNet. Okay, then you can apply for network automation engineer roles. Then we have hybrid cloud infrastructure engineer. It means that instead of uh, just learning one cloud, you should learn uh, along with networking, you should go for Azure and AWS both courses so that you learn uh, Azure 104, 500, 700 and previously what I told you AWS Solution Architect Associate, AWS Security and AWS Networking. And then we have Net DevOps Engineer where you are going to learn not just uh, networking courses like with CCNA, CCNP, Firewall, one cloud and also DevOps program so that you can get into Net DevOps Engineer role. So any of the job role you can prepare for. Okay, so if you are already working as a normal network engineer, uh, I highly recommend you prepare for cloud security first and slowly transition into DevOps, okay, which will give you position of net DevOps or you can prepare directly for the automation part like after your CCNA, CCNP, firewall, these basic courses and after that you can prepare for network automation programs, okay. So this is what we call companies are looking for people who know networking, cloud and automation. Okay. So then we discuss about cloud DevOps platform. So cloud ops engineer where you are not just going to learn cloud security or cloud courses. Along with that you have to learn DevOps. So cloud security or cloud courses plus DevOps will give you cloud ops engineer role, DevOps engineer or site reliability engineer role. Okay. So where, uh, and these courses are too vast if you learn from networking. So like if I tell you, uh, we deliver almost 150 to 200 hours of DevOps content. And if you specific ask me as your programs, as your 104, 500, 700, we deliver up to 100 hours of live training. So combination of 100 plus 150. So you are going to learn about 250 hours of live training. And also you need to revise that content. So you need, if you want to become a cloud ops or DevOps or a site reliability engineer, you need to spend at least 500 hours of learning. 250, we deliver you in live training and 250, you have to self learn by watching those videos again and again. Okay. And then we have platform and infrastructure as a code. So like you become a platform engineer with the DevOps knowledge. You can also become a GitOps uh, kind of engineer because we cover that Git uh, shell scripting, Linux, all these things in the DevOps. Okay. So then we talk about cloud security and cyber security also combined together. So if you already working as a normal like a Linux administrator or Windows administrator or a system engineer or maybe working as a network engineer, but right now you are looking for cloud role. You can go and learn cloud security. Again, I recommended Azure 104, 500, 700 or you go for and why I tell you 104, 500, 700 every time because these are the most popular certification. Azure has maybe 20 to 30 certification, but I give you the best certifications 
uh, that's why okay so once you get into cloud security directly you can get into cloud security engineer role but not for freshers okay you should have some experience as a linux engineer network engineer windows engineer then you can directly learn those cloud combos you can contact networking and we give you azure cloud security program aws cloud security program combo also and after cloud security if you learn cyber security you can apply for devsecops engineer role also there is a job called security automation engineer where you already know the cloud security but you learning you are going to learn little bit of devops and cyber security then you get into security automation engineer okay and also like nowadays like if you want to get into cyber security so not just normal cyber security people with cloud knowledge also like getting hired so with your cyber security program you can add little bit of uh, one or two certifications of cloud like aws solution architect or aws security no need to go for aws networking and the same goes if you go for azure go for one azure 104 and azure 500 no need to go for 700 so azure 700 and aws networking certification is for the people who are coming from network engineer background so then we have full stack infrastructure roles where it means you need to learn multiple technologies like you can get into multi cloud engineer role not just learning aws but azure and gcp because there are many many job roles where companies are looking for people who know multiple clouds and uh, there are some tools available in the market avia trix elkira which actually help companies to deploy their applications deploy their services into multi cloud environment then we have infrastructure engineer similar just uh, the name is different observability and monitoring engineer ai ops engineer so this is like if you learn cloud multiple cloud and uh, uh, like uh, with some machine learning ai people are going to give you ai ops engineer but yes we are not delivering this course right now in networkings but maybe in future we will deliver okay but as of now uh, uh, just not ai ops but rest of the courses you can prepare by doing multiple programs okay so now the rise of multi cloud engineering is improve like day by day it is increasing 85% multi cloud adoption is going on in the organizations so the role requires deep aws azure gcp cloud knowledge so that you can be able to build architectures in the cloud okay so ai thing what is going to be then ai ops you need to Uh, collect the data from different different applications suppose you are using a splunk in your company or maybe any application where you monitor all these things what's going on in your company then ai is going to identify the problems and patterns in your company then it will give some automated responses and also it is going to do some predictive uh, future analytics that what could be the problem in your application in future so ai ops is basically monitoring your application giving you the solutions of the problems what ai is going to detect okay so this is going to be the next era of engineering that's going to be called ai ops or earlier they are called like application engineers or web application engineers all okay so if you want to be like on always like uh, you want to earn higher salary you need to update your knowledge and for that you must inculcate networking cloud cyber devops together okay i have already given you the rough idea about this and i'll share this pdf with all of you so that you can cover you can see this pdf okay and those who really want to join these courses and if you want to learn multiple skills not just one course okay so i highly recommend you you go to uh, networkings.com and apply for live access program where you can join networking cloud cyber security devops unlimited live batches we will create your road map and then whatever timings you are comfortable whether it is weekday or weekend we will give you all options because every month we run almost 25 batches which makes 250 live batches every year so i hopefully in the first year we will give you 10 to 12 batches second year third year so within 3 years we will target or we will help you to reach 30 to 50 lakh ctc depends what current salary you are taking right now 
okay so this is one price for all the courses it's like a membership you do not have to pay for single single programs okay and by this package you can experience all the verticals when you are learning cna cnb firewall you are learning azure 104 500 700 because that's the demand of the modern it jobs okay and uh, also if you miss any class you can watch the recordings we will prepare you for interviews whenever there is a workshop you can attend that and uh, there are referral opportunities in networkings okay a lot of candidates got job whether it is capgemini whether it is hcl wipro juniper cisco aws okay and uh, yes you apply for this this is called live access pass and if you do not have time to attend live training then you can go to ott.nwkings.com and then you can join all access pass currently black friday offer is going on today is the last day to enroll for black friday offer you are getting all the networking cloud cyber security devops courses in just 29000 for complete year so if you calculate you are just spending 2500 rupees every month and i think if you are getting higher salary investing 2500 rupees on yourself uh, is not much because at the same time it will help you to apply for future roles also it will help you to secure your current it job okay so thank you bye bye take care